Between 1841 and 1860, America received a larger number of immigrants than any country in history. Many of them came from other countries because of famines, political unrest, poor harvests, and revolutions. Port cities became overcrowded and jobs were scarce. Young children were forced to work to help support the family. For the children who were not fortunate enough to live with their parents or to have homes, life would be different. Between 1854 and 1929, an estimated 200,000 orphaned, abandoned, and homeless children were placed out. Charity institutions developed a program that placed these children into homes throughout the country. Children, ranging from newborn babies to older teenagers, were transported to their new homes on trains, which were eventually labeled orphan trains. These children were encouraged to break completely from their past. They would typically arrive in a town where interested townspeople would be waiting. The children would be put up on a podium for viewing and inspection. Many siblings were separated during this process because some parents only wanted to take one child. In 1929, a child of troubled times, my daddy couldn't keep up.
on God's highway, but I'll share my travel if you go my way. I have no mother, no father, no sister, no have had friendship, pure and golden, but the ties of kinship, I have not known them, no mother, no father, no sister. calls me, I will be able to meet my family at God's table. I'll meet my mother, my father, my sister, my finger